Hey everyone, this is Ivan from Yellowfin, and in this video, I'll present some of the key highlights from the 802 release. One of the key themes for this year is to increase overall performance across all of our products and improve the user experience. In 802, we have introduced a number of improvements to loading times in the following areas which include dashboards, timeline, browse page, favorites, signals including opening a signal, loading the signals list, and loading signal notifications on the timeline. Let's go to my timeline and have a look at some of these items. To provide more clarity, we have added thumbnail charts, also known as spark lines, to the signal notifications to give you a quick idea of the performance behind each signal metric. You can also now dismiss signals directly from the notification, saving you a few clicks from doing so at the signal list page or within the signal itself. Dismissing the signal will also remove its notification from your timeline immediately. If you'd like to reverse this action, you can always search for these signals in the signal list page and reverse the action. Previously, every new comment on a signal raised a separate notification on the timeline. In 802, we have grouped them together in a single thread just under the signal. This experience is now more aligned to how conversations display for other content like reports, dashboards, and stories. Also, dates in all signal narratives now follow a user's preferred date format from their profile settings. Since the previous release, you'd notice that signal narratives and numbers are now color-coded according to whether it's a good or bad signal. We've now extended this to the signal icon and annotation as well. On the right, the metrics in the related tab are now sorted alphabetically. In the correlated tab, for better readability, we're now displaying formatted field names rather than native database column names. Note that the signal metrics in this tab are still sorted by highest correlation in descending order. Besides the improved notifications on the timeline which you've just seen, we have now worked on improving email notifications resulting from signal events. These include the main signal email that gets generated whenever the engine finds new signals. For the most important ones that get added to your timeline, we've modified the overall layout, included the narrative and sparkline chart to help you understand what's being discovered quicker. For your watch signals, pertinent events now generate better email notifications, including situations where the signal owner changes, when a comment is made, or when a new story is available on the signal. Let's jump into the signal job and see what other backend enhancements are now available in 802. We are all familiar with time series data that exhibit seasonality or recurring regular patterns. A good example of this is website traffic, which tends to drop dramatically on a weekend and then spike up again at the start of the week. For these scenarios, the outlier detection in signals would generate spike and drop signals when the recurring patterns occurred. Previously, you could avoid this by setting appropriate lag values to account for seasonality. In 802, we now give you the option to set seasonality values if you know it, or you can elect to have the signals algorithm automatically detect seasonality for you. Automated seasonality detection will have the signals engine determine if a particular spike or drop is expected based on previously occurring patterns in the data. And if it is deemed expected, then no signals will be created or alerted to you. We have also added an additional step in a signal job setup whereby filters can be set. This is particularly useful for scenarios where you want signals for only a subset of your data. In this scenario, we have hundreds of crime times, but we may want to only want to concentrate on signals generated from assault cases. The UI for this is identical to the filter setup in the report builder. You can now also clear generated signals from any job in the job setup page. This gives you the ability to retweak signal jobs and regenerate signals on the fly when necessary. For our data discovery product, we have enhanced chart tooltips to include an additional option. You can now inherit field formatting when necessary. For example, you might have a report field that has a percentage formatter applied like so. In 802, the chart builder now has this option under series settings. Switching it on will result in child tooltips inheriting the field's formative values as such. And that's it for key highlights today. For all other improvements in 802, check out the release notes and join the conversation in the Yellowfin community. Don't forget to check out our wiki and blog for more resources on the Yellowfin suite. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next release.